Now, on Top Gear. We cross the continental divide. Look at that. On an epic journey to find America's toughest minivan. Oh! Don't push me sideways! Don't push me sideways! <laughs> Majestic Rocky Mountains, home to 14,000 foot peaks and deep impenetrable valleys. This 3,000 mile mountain range represents one of the most formidable barriers on earth. Yet the first pioneers somehow made their way across this hellish bear infested wilderness in nothing more than covered wagons, seeking their fortunes on the other side. So how did they manage it? To find out, we decided to retrace their footsteps using the modern equivalent of the covered wagon. The minivan. Now this is a 99 Chevy Astro minivan. And if I'm gonna take a voyage into the treacherous Rocky Mountains, it's gonna be in an all-wheel drive with six screaming cylinders and something built on a truck frame. I mean, there really is no other choice. <laughs> and then this drives up. Huh? 2001 Chrysler Town & Country. The worst minivan ever made. Oh, I disagree, my friend. The year this was made, it was voted the most luxurious minivan you could buy. It also has all-wheel drive and 215 horsepower. How much horsepower do you have in it? 190. A blazing 190. You bet. Do you have all-wheel drive? I sure do. Does it work? Yes. Ah. This is a car that a woman named Nancy would own. Really? This is a town and country. This is versatile. You could drive it in town or in the country. It says it right there in the name. What do you think Tanner got? Something totally inappropriate. Did you hear an Amber Alert? Oh, gosh. That's right. The Aerostar. It is a manual. Six-cylinder, rear-wheel drive, drift machine. You thought that was a good idea in the mountains. Hell yes. If I'm going to have to drive a minivan, uh -huh. which is the bane of the automotive existence, I am going to actually drive it with a manual and some drifting. All I want to know is, what are we going to do with these things? Well, I'll tell you. To find out which of your modern day covered wagons is the most versatile, you will cross the Rockies on a pioneer trail and during a series of challenges on the way. Your first challenge is eight miles from here. I wish I had rear-wheel drive so I could just dig a hole. Me too. Unfortunately, all we've got is all-wheel drive. Yeah. You'll be fine, though. Good luck. I'm going to have fun, at least. As much fun as you can have in a covered wagon. Our journey would take us 200 miles up and over the Rockies. The first 150 miles would be on road. Then we'd be going off-road for another 50. Driving deep into the wilderness, cresting the Continental Divide at 12,000 feet and then descending to cross a frigid alpine lake. Along the way, our minivans would have to brave snow-covered mule trails with steep drop-offs that would leave Jeeps begging for mercy. All in all, this was gonna be the ultimate test of our covered wagons. Our first challenge was at an ice rink. Don't hit me. Don't kill me. Oh, 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 right. oh. Covered wagons needed to be vehicles suitable for all conditions. So to see how well our modern day versions handled ice... Oh no, I ripped the shift knob off. We compete in a classic uh -oh. winter sport. Minivan curling. We had to accelerate up to the blue line, then I'm brake and ice. slide. Whichever minivan got closest to the cooler would win. <laughs> That's why I'm not gonna run. Morons on ice. All right, Adam, this is it. I'm just going to mat it, break, turn, and hope. That's my plan. If he starts to hit us, throw me over the wall. Here we go. All right, come on in. Blue line. Oh, my gosh, it's a lot of speed. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh he's going to no. hit it. Is he going to hit it? He's going <laughs> to... Wait get, a get, minute. Get, he's get, pushed get, it get. all the way against the wall. <laughs> Where is it? Where's the barrel? It's pretty much under your bumper. My Astro was up next, and although winning was obviously important, 
What was more exciting was the opportunity to drive on ice at speed toward Adam. Oh, oh. Ah, this isn't good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, you're not. I was up next, and this was my chance to show them that my rear-wheel drive minivan could beat their all-wheel drive minivans on ice. Here it comes. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's coming backwards. Oh, look at that, look at oh, that, look at go, that. Go, 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 go. <laughs> yes. You are kidding. All right, measure it up. No, we don't need to measure it. I'm no, actually... Just, you want. Look how I close it is. It might be close. We should just verify right, right, yeah, you that should. distance. Doesn't look like you're that close now. Playtime was over, and it was time to begin our climb towards the Continental Divide. We'd eventually be leaving pavement and heading high into the wilderness. And I was confident I'd made the right choice. Now this little gem of an Astro has 143,000 miles on it. I assume pampered miles, as most minivans are. Probably been to the mall thousands of times. But I think it's perfect for the tough stuff too, because it's got good ground clearance, it's got a nice all-wheel drive system, it's got good power, it's very comfortable. It seems like the perfect minivan. The town and country, a direct descendant of the original minivan. So this is the perfect minivan for going off-road. I got plenty of power, I have all-wheel drive, great. I don't have a lot of ground clearance, and I have a bad history with drive shafts and axles snapping when we go off-road. Just be a little more conservative this time. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna be better than Tanner. He's gonna try and go over the mountains in real wheel drive. He's gonna get stuck, and I'm gonna laugh. The thing about the Pioneers and about the mountains is it's hardcore. It's a manual gearbox, straight up V6, solid rear axle, Ford Aerostar Hardcore. That's why this thing is gonna conquer this challenge. Plus, I have a connection to this van. In high school, my mom had one. This is the first thing I ever did burnouts in. Sorry, Mom. Now, I know that a lot of settlers died when they had trouble with their wagons, but how many people have been driving and texting and just shot off the side of this? Often. You see all these rocks laying on the side of the road. Some big chunks drop on cars sometimes, I think. No, they don't. Have you not seen the 30 danger falling rock signs, Adam? I don't like to read when I drive. As we climbed above 9,000 feet, our minivans were doing just fine. But Rutledge, not so much. Oh, man. Oh, I need, Daddy needs some fresh air. I'm get, oh, I'm getting nervous. My heart rate's elevated. I think it's the elevation. Is this elevation making you guys feel a little funny? Do you have a little Rocky Mountain High going on? Hey, leave John Denver out of this. I think so. I got a little bit of a headache, and I'm a little short of breath. What? Well, this is probably the only time in your life you're going to be lightheaded. Now that's funny. That was funny. The Pioneer's covered wagons needed to be adaptable. So, to find out which of our minivans was the most versatile, our next challenge was to race a quarter mile to a barn, remove all the rear seats, and race back to the start. This place is spectacular. Yeah, this is beautiful. Ready? Are there style points involved, though? Because, I mean, no. what if you, like, you know, slide or drift around? The Pioneers didn't hang it out, so there's no style points. You can do whatever you want, but it's not going to count. How do you know? The Pioneers, they had... Stop. Okay, let's do it. Come on. Come on. They had those big belt buckles and... Those were pilgrims. So, hoping for a good launch. I hope Tanner gets wheel spin in his rear wheel drive. And the air's real thin up here, and it's affecting rut, so I'm hoping that he kind of, like, blacks out. Gentlemen, thumbs up. And three, two, one, go! Good launch. Oh, that Chrysler's quick. Here we go. Tanner, what the hell's he doing back there? Come 
Come on, get up there. I'm gonna leave. Okay. Over the crest. Oh yeah! And here comes the barn. Tear it up. Oh. Heads up! I was behind, but that was my strategy. Oh jeez. Once I made it to the turn, my seat would simply fall out. Oh, it didn't work. It didn't work. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh, here we go. Out of the sun, no way. No! <laughs> I got a lead on him. I could try all he wanted, but I had 25 more horsepower. <laughs> Go! This race was all town and country. <laughs> yes! Town and country, baby! This altitude is ridiculous. Did you get all your seats out, Adam? Yes, I did. And I beat you. I got both of my benches out. And you lost as well. I didn't win, but I don't think it was my fault. Are you sick? Yeah, I think I need to stop here for a couple minutes. I'm not feeling so hot. What's the matter, Rod? I feel like I got a really tight hat on, and my feet feel tingly, and my heart rate's up. OK, so do you want us to uh, go get somebody and send them back with some medicine? I'll be fine. Y'all go ahead. I'll catch up. I'm just going to just gotta take a minute, get acclimated. I'll be fine. We left Rutt behind and set out to scout the trail over the Continental Divide. Are you kidding me? This can't be right. Look at this, it says, recommended high clearance, four wheel drive, short wheelbase. We gotta get up there in these things? That's, that's gnarly. We're in trouble. I mean, I kinda have high clearance. No, you don't. Four wheel drive. I have that. You've got all wheel drive. How many wheels are on that? It's a little different. What the hell is that? Now, as long as it stays dry and it stays about like this, no steeper, Aerostar's gonna do well. You can feel how light it is. There you go. <laughs> You're doing it! Town in rough country, baby! Have you seen some of the looks on the faces of the Jeeps coming up and seeing these minivans here? Yeah, I think we're being shunned. They come up here, they've been training and off-road driving for weeks and weeks. Hey, what's up? Look at that guy right there. They're in first gear low the whole way, monitoring tire pressures. And they get passed by an Aerostar and a caravan. I love it. Love it. But it didn't take long to find out that the rocks on the trail were a little bit bigger than the speed bumps at the mall. Oh, that's a big rock. Ah! Oh, that hurt. That hurt. Oh my gosh, this looks pumping. Oh, come on. Three miles up the trail, my town and country decided that this was way too much country. Come on, honey. You stuck, buddy? Yeah, I'm having all kinds of electrical problems. Lights don't work, windows don't go down. Poor all-wheel drive car. Want to put your ABS fuse back in? Yeah. And there's two fuses that are burned out. Here's my question. See how all the gears are lit yeah, up? Yeah, the gear light. That, that just happened, and then the transmission went whack. See, I, I don't think the trans. It's a limp mode, I think. Can you back it down to some place flat where you're so not? So you know about this limp mode? I've seen a rental car in limp mode before. You've been in limp mode, haven't you? I've been in limp mode before. Really? This isn't a good place to be in limp mode. I'm just telling you right now. When does it happen? When you're drinking? I think your best shot is to take the negative cable off. Yeah. Try to reset the computer uh -huh. so that the limp mode thing goes away. All right, now we wait. So anyway, pretty beautiful up here, huh? Gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, this is like peak leaf changing. OK, that's long enough. 
All right, go see if the Christmas lights are still on your dash. Got it. That seriously worked? <laughs> okay. Night was falling, and neither of our minivans were enjoying the rough stuff, so we headed back down the trail. To even have a chance at making it over the Continental Divide, we needed to toughen up our vans and make them less suburban. The next morning, fitted with off-road tires, brush guards, and winches, our minivans were ready for anything. We met up with Rutt for one more challenge before heading into the wilderness. <laughs> he had gotten over his altitude sickness and spent the night making a few modifications of his own. How does even the Astro van look kind of cool? It does. Look at it. How you feeling? Yeah, you doing good? Much better. Man, I drank my weight in water. So there's wow. a missing lake somewhere. Yeah, that altitude sickness, it's for real. All right, we came out to the, to the ranch. We're stepping in cow patties. What are we doing here? Let's find out. When crossing the mountains, settlers had to carry all of their food with them. To find out which of your minivans is best suited to follow in this tradition, you must each transport livestock to market. Wait a minute. I think I'm getting the picture of what we're doing here. The minivan that delivers its livestock with the least damage to the car wins. Come on. Well, I heard a sheep. Let's check sounds out what like, else there is. Sounds more like a goat than a sheep. We had to somehow get these animals into our minivans. Tanner chose the goat, I took the pig, and Rudd, of course, took the sheep. You know what? I'll go first. Okay. Do it. Me and Lamb Chopper out. I'll show you guys how this is done. Let's see it, Georgia boy. Wow, you are humongous. Humongous. Hi. Hey, hey there. All right, perfect. Let's go this they way. They smell fear. Yeah, let's go this way. That sounds like fun. It's so big. It's like a horse. Yeah, there you go. Don't there let my go. goats out. There you go. There you go. That's oh, good. You're, nice. you're doing it right. Yeah, yeah. Let's go get in the Astro. I've got a sheep. This is amazing. Come on, come on, come on. Be cool. I'll stop shouting. You know what they call these? these call, they call these barn doors, ironically. Okay, how much do you weigh? Up. In you go. Pick it up, right? Yeah, pick up this small horse. Just lift with your legs. There you go. There, oh, son of a... Don't. Did she bite you? <laughs> no. I hear they bite. They're poisonous. Son of a bitch! It is not a very versatile van, or I yeah. think the sheep would recognize it. It's hated by animals. I've got it. I've got it. I don't have her. I lost my sheep. <laughs> you know, you can help. Nice and easy, Come on, girl. Alice. Come on. Ease her on forward. There you go. Ooh, that is a thick coat. Here, get behind it, Adam. Get well, behind it, Adam. Get an arm no. going. Yeah, come you on, get Adam. Get behind it. Just give it a high butt push. Adam, lift it. Oh, go. Lift it. You're not lifting it. It is. There it is. Yes, yes, yes. Go. Okay, get in Slip there. Up. Get in there, kid. Get in there. Go. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Go, shut the yes. door. Yes. No. Hey, beautiful. You gotta be kidding me. Totally could have done that by myself, though. I don't know why y'all kept getting in the way. Gentlemen, let me show you how it's done. Higgs are smart. They're like dogs. You just call them and they come. Great. I'd like to see that happen. Hey, good morning. Wanna go for a ride? Oh, come on now. <laughs> oh, you let my goats out. Oh, oh you little son of a... <laughs> Jazz hands. No, no, you guys are scared. I need to get them that way. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, pig. Come on. It's okay. Jazz okay. Come here. <laughs> okay. Don't puke. Don't puke. Oh, yeah. Jazz hands. Not that way. We're going this way now. Goats that way. Really? Oh. Adam one. Pig nothing. Tanner rounded up his goats and felt the need to name them. Get in there. Help him with Rutledge. Three. Adam's about to jump out. Why did you name your goats after us? I don't have a valid answer for that. Now you're gonna have to go in with them so we can yeah. close the door. Get up in there. Rush them that way. Hurt them in. Here, is this good? No, that's not good. good. There you go. Oh, no, move your leg. No, 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 don't drop that thing, okay. don't drop it. Right. Good. Come on, let's go. Yeah, let's get out of here. Pretty nice in here, right, roomy? <laughs> Jeez, that took forever. Oh, I smell awful. Uh, Holy shit, I forgot it was in here. Now all we had to do was deliver our livestock to market 20 miles away. The minivan with the least amount of damage would win. Calling farm animals isn't exactly what I had hoped to do with this minivan, but I think Judy is doing great. 
She seems very comfortable in the Astro. She has gone pee and poop. Oh my gosh. That is so gross. Tana, did you get a look at this pig while I was carrying it? Is it a boy or a girl? I think it's a girl. Because I was going to call it Sir Francis Bacon if it was a boy. But since it's a girl, I think I'm going to call it Spamela Anderson. All I know is that Adam in here is eating everything and Rutledge is chewing on the actual van. I'm going to name a dog after you. It's official. Tanner Faust just crapped on the couch. Tanner Faust just humped my leg. Tanner Faust is licking his... Rut may have been having fun with his sheep. But Spamela was not behaving like a lady. Oh, that is so bad. Oh, it's methane! Ooh, you got some bad breath, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Finally, we arrived at our drop-off point. It's been really nice knowing you. I love you too. I love you too. How's it going? How are you? So uh, we are just delivering some livestock. Alrighty. Where do we put it? We go right into this gate. Okay. There you go. Oh, guys. Come on. Go, Come on. go, go. Go, go, go. Watch out. Adam will just crash right into that Come wall right Let's there. Go. Very funny. Come on. 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 All right, that's the job done for the goats. I hate goodbyes. <clears throat> Come on out. Look how easy it is for you to get in and out. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. All right. Here it's... comes the squeal, huh? Yeah. You don't need to open. You lost the pig. Now nah, I, uh, I lost the challenge. I, I freed the pig. You just let it go? Yes, I did. Turns out she has irritable bowel syndrome, and I couldn't take it. You just let it go out in the wild here? Okay, winter's coming. It knows its way home. Are bears and coyotes that Mountain will... lions? So... I lose. I don't care. I'll Fair take enough. It. You cash out, you lose. Let's see how that sheep did in the back of your Astro. It's hardly anything. No! Oh, <laughs> oh my God. God. Judy, really bad no... rap. Are you kidding? How much of that was Judy and how much was you? One, you guys didn't know, but those are grapes on their way to becoming raisins. Eat, eat a raisin. Grape. They're not done yet. If you eat the raisin, you, you win. You eat the raisin, because you win. Because then we know. Have, have a raisin. It. Open up. Flick it like a booger. Look, Flick I have it. very little no! no chance of getting no! it in there. It's just a raisin. Don't do that. My minivan may have had a few raisins in it. That just gave it more character. It must have coped better than the Aerostar. Here's the deal. Okay. If my floor is not completely coated in crap like yours was, then I win the challenge. I've lost already, so I'll judge. Okay. Hardly any poop at all. Are you kidding me? Oh, the... <coughs> it doesn't <coughs> smell. The smell is so strong. They ate the ashtray. You're going to mark me down for an ashtray after he That's... has a full layer of crap on the back but of the thing? But you have crap and they ate an ashtray. I can wash that carpet. You can't wash that ashtray that they ate. Okay, you both have crap damage and, and foul barn smells, but you have permanent damage, so Rut wins. <laughs> Rut won the livestock challenge. Oh! But that had nothing to do with his minivan and everything to do with his way with sheep. Tomorrow would be the first time off-road and the first real test of each of our minivan's ruggedness. Getting stuck on a narrow alpine trail at 12,000 feet was not something we wanted to even think about. The next morning we set off. We were only 50 miles from the Continental Divide. But those weren't the sort of miles our minivans were used to. Wow, look at that. Are you kidding me? There's so much snow up there. We have to cross that? To get to the Continental Divide, we had to follow an old mule trail which weaved its way up between the peaks to an altitude of 12,000 feet. To make matters worse, it started to snow. This is incredible. Oh, don't look over the edge, don't look over the edge. Holy shit! Oh, don't die, don't die, don't die. Now, I would not bring a two-wheel drive minivan up here 
under any circumstances. Whoa. Oh, come on, dig! The trail got rockier and steeper. Adam and my all-wheel drive minivans were somehow still going. But Tanner's rear-wheel drive was in trouble. Oh my gosh, here comes some rough stuff. Go, 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 go. These tires are too big for the power. There you go, that's it, cook those tires. Skater shoes were not a good call. He went out of his way to find a rear wheel drive manual. And you know why they're so hard to find? Because they're crap. I'm getting out to Pete. Okay. Please don't blow through the windshield on me. Keep your head down. Yeah, seriously, right? Mental notes. Low gear range is key. With the automatic, the torque converter can let you drive slowly, but this thing just does not let you go slow. It's a speed demon, really. The fact that in the marketing campaign, they actually stood it next to a space shuttle to show the similarity in profile, lets you know it's built for speed, not really for comfort or for off-roading. Oh, God. That was brutal. Let's see. There we go. You're adorable. This freaking sucks. Get back in your truck. Back in your whatever what? that thing is. I, what? Whatever that is? You mean oh, this, man, we're late. We're this, late. this rock oh, climb? God, no, oh, it's thank late. you for getting oh, the it's door. It's getting cold. The sun's coming down. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Did you wind up your wench? Because mine's all wound up because I didn't have to use it. I can't hear you. Sorry. You can't hear me? Why? Because your tires are what? spinning from your rear wheel drive? Let's go to the next place, you're gonna get stuck. We continued to climb into the unknown and broke through the clouds into dazzling sunlight that illuminated the full horror of what lay ahead. Beautiful, isn't it? A little colder up here. How high do you think it is to cross that? That's 12 and a half thousand feet. It's over tree line, that's why it looks bald, and it's deep snow. Aren't you worried about not having all wheel drive? No, I, these tires, this van. I think you're trying to hide how nervous you are. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. This is the best decision I've ever made, choosing the rear wheel drive manual V6 Aerostar. You're doing that thing where you talk really fast when you're lying. I don't know, let's get on the road, come on. Look, let's do this, I'm psyched, I'm stoked. Of his own urine. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be awesome. You're going to see how tough the Astro really is. Holy shit. Whoa. Look at those jagged rocks up there. There's no way a minivan has been up here before. Keep climbing, fellas, keep climbing. We were now at almost 12,000 feet and only half a mile from the top. But the trail was getting steeper and narrower. Holy crap, it just dropped straight off. Oh, this is not smart at all. trying to slip off the freaking cliff right now. Come on, come on, come on. Fuck. Can you try to throw it in reverse, see if you get any traction? I can't, I can't back up because I'm right on the edge. This was a disaster. There wasn't a worse place to be stuck. Tanner couldn't drive forward and his rear tires were inches from the edge. Adam, any way you can get back behind me a little bit? Not really much. Can you straighten it out and come back to me? Me? No, I mean, I'll just back straight off the uh, off the cliff, yeah? All right, let me see if I can come in now. You ready? Come on in. Come on in. 
Push, 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 Rutledge, push. Go, 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 go. Don't push me sideways, don't push me sideways. Straighten your wheel, Adam. That's it, that's it. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Oh, you came off me. Go, go, Adam, come on. Keep going, keep going. It needs to be constant. Go, 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 gas. Come, come, come. Yeah. I got it from here. All right, thanks, Adam. Almost there! This is it! This is it! And nobody died. Oh, this is awesome. We've crossed the continental divide in minivans! We are pioneers. We've taken minivans where they've never gone before. And the town and country is clearly the best. What? what? I'm sorry, what was up here first? What had to be pushed up here? I had to push both of you. No, I had to push him and you had to push him. And I you pushed only... you. Because I was pushing him. Doesn't matter. The, the Astro, strongest minivan. <sighs> Somehow we had managed to cross the Rockies, but we still had a major obstacle left. Something the early pioneers feared even more than crossing mountains. Crossing water. Hold on, hold on. We have to make these vans float across that water. Mine's already pretty lightweight, I'm just saying. Th back in the day, they would caulk the wagon in Fjord the River. They, they would, would do what? what? They would caulk the wagon. I did a family show. They would put caulk in all the holes in the wagon, yeah. so it would be watertight, uh -huh. and then they would fjord a river. But this is a lake, and these are heavy. Can you fjord a lake? I don't think you can. Wait, if we can make modifications, I mean, like, the wind is kind of blown that way. It's not oh. that far. Doesn't look that raging. I got some ideas. I think I'm good. Good luck finding your cock. Oh, uh, yeah. We had overnight to prepare for the ultimate covered wagon test. And there could only be one winner. The next day, with modifications complete, we were ready to enter the icy waters. What do you think? Are you kidding me? What the Mississippi paddle boat. I found a bicycle. <laughs> Check this out. Are you going to paddle your way across? Oh, yeah. What? Because you've been yeah, you've been training so much? Right. Don't take this the wrong way, but I think your machine is severely underpowered. Do you guys not get it? Look, it's a, it's like a riverboat. Let me show you. Let get on up here. there. Go ahead. Get. Oh, look at it. He's revving it up. Look at He's that. He's revving it up. I feel like we're watching from kind of a bad perspective. <laughs> yeah, this is a strange angle to be looking at. Tell me I don't look good in this wetsuit. Adam. Did you chop the... Yes, I did. Wow, you made this van so much cooler. I found a seven horsepower motor, so I had to save some weight, so I cut the top off, and I wouldn't be trapped in here if, if it does go down, so I can make a quick escape. And then you put old race tires on the side. Yeah, that's gonna what? help me float. You guys, I don't know what you were thinking, but I've gotten how the pioneers actually crossed, and that's in canoes. Buoyancy is what it's about. But you're gonna sink. Those have like a weight of five or 600 pounds. Excuse me, Sacagawea. How are you going to power this beast? I am going to use the winch, what we already have. I'm just going to simply take a rope over. How much cable do you think you have? So you're using an electric winch over water with a minivan strapped between two canoes? Yes. I'm using pedal power, smooth sailing right across there. OK. Like I'm crossing the mighty Mississippi. Really? You're sick already, aren't you? I love water. <laughs> People know one of my greatest hobbies is to be in and around water. Yeah. You know what? I'll go first. I'm going to just breeze through this. I'm just ready to knock it out. Go ahead. You do it. All right, Rod. Yeah. Once your tires touch the water, we start the clock. Let's do it. Ready, set, go. go. Yeah, get it going. Yeah. Come on, that's it. Astro. That's it. That's it. Come on, Astro. Tires in. Go. I'm going to hold my breath. Son of a bitch. I'll break the wheel. Oh, that shit's floating now. He's coming. You're not going to believe how nice it looks over here. I tell you, you look, you look like a real pioneer up there. It's really well balanced. Do you notice he doesn't have a rudder? See you guys later. One, two, one, two. 
fact that it's still floating is it, impressive. Yeah, you get points for that. Come on. Come on. Really should have thought of a way to turn this thing. I'm going the wrong way. Wait a second. Is he going in? He's made a complete circle. I'm swimming in! Oh my god! Oh my god, that's so cold! Holy shit! Holy shit! Someone tell me when I hit shore! Unfortunately for Rutt, he ended up where he started. And two minutes in the water was all he could take. I give up! I surrender! <laughs> it's so cold! <laughs> all right, How's this that? hurts. I'll see you guys later. The ice right on his feet. Oh my god, that hurts. Ah. With Astro out, it was down to Town and Country versus Aerostar for the title of America's Toughest Minivan. All right. Go. Okay. Oh, Come on. How's that motor going? Well, we'll see at the finish. Yeah! Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Seven horsepower motor. What a cheater. Un not cheating! Believable. The pioneers may not have had outboard motors, but they didn't have electric winches either. And my plan meant I didn't have to paddle across a lake and tie up to a tree. Come on. Almost there. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. I was already halfway across, and Tanner hadn't even made it back to his Aerostar. Working! It's working! The SS Town and Country had this one in the bag. Oh, come on, don't die. Don't die. What's up, you cheater? You, uh -oh. oh, is it not working? I'm sorry. Yeah, That's too yeah. bad. Just keep... Oh, damn it. Damn, I can't believe I forgot gas. And then it's just a push button. Road to victory. There we go. Yeah, baby! That's what I'm talking about! Woo! Plan B. Stroke! Stroke! My Chrysler had gotten me this far. Stroke! There was only 100 yards to go, and there was no way I was going to let Winch Boy win. You shall not pass! Come on, really? Ha-ha! Get off of it! No! No, get off! <laughs> You're not climbing on it! Get back on your boat! You shall not pass! Hey, I'm just gonna go back to pushing my button, okay? That's it. Okay. Turn left. You can do it. While the other two were playing pirates, I'd made it to the other side on foot, just in time to congratulate Tanner. That's not bad for second place right there. Second place? Where's your car? Right over there on the shore. It was so determined to get here, it made it all by itself. I can't believe you just left Adam out there. I think a breeze will pick up. That's it. Stroke. Stroke. I don't think they realized how cold that water was. Yeah, it was really cold. But what I think they do realize is how bad that Aerostar was. Come on. And everybody realizes that you two left me out there to die. Okay, I got across the lake with my van first, which was the goal. I win. Now that's funny when you say it like that because I was actually on the shore waiting for you with my van, so that means I win. No, True. Your, your van drifted across on its own. It made it. Plus, <laughs> mine was the best at moving livestock, just like the early settlers. Friendly sheep? What? You had a friendly sheep. Okay, listen, listen. I won the drag race. I'm not fighting him on this. Do you really want to be the guy that chose the best minivan? Um, no. Not if you put it like that. Yeah, then shut up. Right. <laughs> you win. You are the king of the soccer moms. Thank, Thank you very you. much. <laughs> Now, on Top Gear, we cross the Continental Divide. Look at that. On an epic journey to find America's toughest minivan. Oh! Don't push me sideways! Don't push me sideways! Majestic 
Rocky Mountains, home to 14,000 foot peaks and deep impenetrable valleys. This 3,000 mile mountain range represents one of the most formidable barriers on earth. Yet the first pioneers somehow made their way across this hellish bear infested wilderness in nothing more than covered wagons, seeking their fortunes on the other side. So how did they manage it? To find out, we decided to retrace their footsteps using the modern equivalent of the covered wagon. The minivan. Now this is a 99 Chevy Astro minivan. And if I'm gonna take a voyage into the treacherous Rocky Mountains, it's gonna be in an all wheel drive with six screaming cylinders and something built on a truck frame. I mean, there really is no other choice. <laughs> and then this drives up. Huh? 2001 Chrysler Town and Country. The worst minivan ever made. Oh, I disagree, my friend. The year this was made, it was voted the most luxurious minivan you could buy. It also has all-wheel drive and 215 horsepower. How much horsepower do you have in it? 190. A blazing 190. You bet. Do you have all-wheel drive? I sure do. Does it work? Yes. Ah. This is a car that a woman named Nancy would own. Really? This is a town and country. This is versatile. You could drive it in town or in the country. It says it right there in the name. What do you think Tanner got? Something totally inappropriate. Did you hear an Amber Alert? Oh, gosh. That's right. The Aerostar. It is a manual. Six-cylinder, rear-wheel drive, drift machine. You thought that was a good idea in the mountains. Hell yes. If I'm going to have to drive a minivan, uh -huh. which is the bane of the automotive existence, I am going to actually drive it with a manual and some drifting. All I want to know is, what are we going to do with these things? Well, I'll tell you. To find out which of your modern day covered wagons is the most versatile, you will cross the Rockies on a pioneer trail and during a series of challenges on the way. Your first challenge is eight miles from here. I wish I had rear wheel drive so I could just dig a hole. Me too, unfortunately all we've got is all wheel drive. Yeah, you'll be fine though. Good luck. I'm gonna have fun at least. As much fun as you can have in a covered wagon. Our journey would take us 200 miles up and over the Rockies. The first 150 miles would be on road. Then we'd be going off road for another 50. Driving deep into the wilderness, cresting the continental divide at 12,000 feet, and then descending to cross a frigid alpine lake. Along the way, our minivans would have to brave snow-covered mule trails with steep drop-offs that would leave Jeeps begging for mercy. All in all, this was gonna be the ultimate test of our covered wagons. Our first challenge was at an ice rink. 